Hello my second grade friends. This is our last music video for the 2019-2020 school year. This is technically distance learning lesson number 12, but we're it's our review lesson today. So what we're gonna do is just review the important things we learned in music class this year and review the songs and the games that we did. And then I would like you to tell me on Seesaw what your favorite thing was from music class this year. You can tell me a song that you really liked or a game that you liked, an instrument that you learned how to play, anything that we did in music class. So I'm curious to know what your favorite thing was, okay? So we're gonna start with our welcome song and then we will move on to review, all right? So let's get moving. The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. For your friends are my friends, and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. Nice. Let's do the more that we jump together. You guys ready? Get on your feet and let's jump. The more we jump together, 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 the more we jump together, the happier we'll be. For your friends are my friends, and my friends are your friends. The more we jump together, the happier we'll be. How about the more that we spin together? So you guys are gonna have to do the spinning for me. Be careful, you're gonna spin. You can spin with your arms like this or you can spin your body, ready? The more we spin together, 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 the more we spin together, the happier we'll be. For your friends are my friends, and my friends are your friends. The more we spin together, the happier we'll be. Nice job, friends. All right, my friends, so let's just review some of the important music concepts that we learned this year. And these are all things that you're going to need to be familiar with and remember as we get into third grade music next year. Okay, so we started the school year with rhythm and we learned that some of these notes that we'd been learning had actual rhythm names like music vocabulary names, right? So our TTs we learned are called eighth notes. Our tas are called quarter notes. Our shushes are called quarter rests. And we went through and we made sure that we knew that each one of those was one beat, right? We also practiced our ta-a, that was our new note this year in second grade. And that's actually called a half note and it's worth two beats. And it has a rest that matches a shh. It's called a half rest. It kind of looks like a top hat. And that is two beats as well. Now we really didn't get to this one that's four beats. So we're gonna save that for third grade music, okay? I'm gonna to link to this document in the description below our YouTube video so that you can check this out. Um, there's lots of different activities and stuff. Some things we did in distance learning, but other things that you can check out if you want some music stuff to do over the summer. And then we talked about tempo. So we did a lot with tempo. We looked at um, the legend of Tim Poe <laughs> from Quaver, and then we did the tempo treadmill where we kind of had to decide what speed the music we were listening to was. And we learned that all of these tempos have these really fancy names, these Italian names. Largo is slow, like a turtle. Moderato is medium, like a walking pace. And presto is fast, like a bunny. So we practiced playing in those different speeds and we listened to them most importantly. You guys, if you have a second, check out these hip hop dance videos. Um, one is a fast tempo and one is a slow. They're really fun. We also looked heavily at instrument families this year and we learned all about each one, how each instrument sounds, the fact that in each family, some instruments are smaller and they make a higher pitch and some instruments are bigger, which makes a lower pitch. We learned how to play them, for example, with the string family Violins, violas, cellos, and basses are all played with a bow. 
We learned that the woodwind family has a small wooden reed that goes in the mouthpiece to help us play. And those are our flutes, clarinets, oboes, and bassoons. We learned all about the brass family and how they have kind of that golden color and you blow into the mouthpiece and press the valves. And those are French horns, trumpets, trombones, and tubas. The trombone, remember, has that really long slide that you push in and out. And our percussion family has a bunch of different instruments. We played a lot of those this year. We played shakers or maracas. We played cymbals. We played drums. We did a lot. We played xylophones, which are part of percussion as well. So we're going to do a lot more of that next year too. We had to look at the volume too or the dynamics. Was it loud or forte? That's our Italian name. Like a lion or soft like a mouse, piano. And crescendo means to get louder and decrescendo means to get softer. The tempo changes and the dynamics changes make our music more interest, interesting. That's why we need to talk about them. Then we started to look at melody and we always, 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 always practice using our singing voice in music class. So some of us like to sing higher, like a bird or a flute some middle sounds kind of like a monkey or a clarinet and our low low sounds are like a bear or a tuba and we identify those with our solfege or our pitch so we use these hand signs and these solfege syllables so me and la to help us make sure that our singing voice is matching the correct pitch that's why we use those and here's what they look like on the staff we started to read them on the music staff so if we were to write our music down, how would we know if it's going higher or lower? And we started to look at the way music is written, okay? Notation is reading and writing music notes. So we talked about some of these, like the stem and the beam in our TTs. The music staff is the five lines. And I think that's really all we got to this year. So we'll look at all of this next year. This is helping us to read our music better and to write our music better. And then we looked at form in music. So we did a lot of call and response songs. Down by the Bay is one of them. We did My Aunt Came Back. There's songs that are in different forms using letters like AB or ABA. And we also learned what an ostinato was. An ostinato is a repeated pattern. Now, we didn't necessarily do all these songs for distance learning, but that's okay. You can go through and listen to them yourself. And then finally, we looked at genres of music or the different styles. So folk music, for example, we've learned a lot. Remember, folk music tells a story. We've looked at a lot of classical music this year. We looked at the Nutcracker. Vivaldi's Four Seasons, um, In the Hall of the Mountain King by Grieg, that was our Halloween song. Uh, so we've done a lot of that as well. And then in our distance learning, we've learned what a song tale was, stories that are songs. So we did a lot this year. I know that's a lot to take in and a lot to remember, but that's why I wanted to do this. So we kind of get it fresh in your brain again. All right, guys. So we're just going to review the songs and the games that we did this year in music class um, just to refresh your memory and make sure you remember what we did. So um, we did a game called Up the Ladder, Down the Ladder, which was like a drumming game to, to do some rhythms in the beginning of the year. We learned a song called Bluebird that helped us with our new half note rhythm, and we did a game with that. We did two cup games, if you remember back at the holidays. One was to a movement from the Nutcracker, and one was to a song called Sleigh Ride, which was where we were imagining being in a horse-drawn sleigh. And then when we came back from holiday break, we did um, a song called This Way, That Away. And here's all of the other songs that we've learned this year. All of the ones that are in bold are things from Quaver Music. And so just to refresh your memory... Welcome to music, so long, farewell is our goodbye song. Remember we did In the Hall of the Mountain King and we played percussion instruments with that and acted out the story of our, our uh, main character, Peter, Peter, Peter Gint, I almost forgot his name. <laughs> the Legend of Timpo, we talked about tempo and doing the tempo treadmill. 
We learned all of the few of the movements from the Nutcracker and did dances with those. We learned and reviewed the song, I Believe in You. I believe in you. We did, I'm a superhero flying low. Where did all those bad guys go? Remember we did that in class. We learned a song from Martin Luther King Jr. Day. He had a dream. And then we started moving into the instrument families with air orchestra. Hit, shaken, or scraped, our percussion family song. The strings can do it all, where we listen to each string instrument play, and then our woodwind animals to talk about the woodwind family. And right after that, we moved into distance learning. So these are all the songs that we've done in our distance learning lessons. A lot of you guys really like Spring is Here and I Love the Mountains or Popcorn Popping on the Apricot Tree. Mr. Sun was a popular song. The Green Grass Grows All Around, All Around. The Green Grass Grows All Around. That one we loved. Snail, Snail, a lot of students really liked. Snail, 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 snail. Go around and round and round, right? That was all our spring themed lessons in the beginning. And then we started moving. This was our down on the farm lesson. And we did a Farmer's Life for Me song tale with that. This was our ocean lesson or under the sea. We learned a song in Spanish. We sang about all the creatures in the ocean. This was our country western theme lesson a couple of weeks ago with all those folk songs. And then the last songs are the songs from last week's lesson for the summer theme. Okay, so I'm going to scroll up through. Oh, and here's all the song tales that we did so far this year. Okay, so again, you can pause so you can remember what you did if it's something from this list. Or if you remember what it was, either way, I want you to go back to Seesaw and I want you to tell me what your favorite thing from music class was this year. All right, my second grade friends, I want to say a huge thank you to you guys for having such an awesome attitude in music class this year. You guys always came in with smiles on your face. You were energetic. You were ready to dance and have lots of fun and play instruments. And I appreciate that so much. Nothing makes me happier. And I just wanted to say a huge thank you to you. And, us, and thank you to those of you that have been working really hard on Seesaw while we've been in distance learning. I know it's not been easy and it's not necessarily always been fun, but I appreciate all the hard work you're putting in. You guys are awesome. And I cannot wait to get back and have third grade music be just as awesome. So we are going to sing our so long farewell one more time. And I hope you guys have an awesome, awesome summer. You deserve it. Here we go. So long, farewell to you, my friends. Goodbye for now, until we meet again. I said so long, farewell to you, my friends. Goodbye for now, until we meet again. Bye, guys. Have an awesome summer. I will miss you, and I can't wait to see you again soon.